Greetings everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're playing on the Commodore Amiga, a game called CJ's Elephant Antics by Codemasters in 1991. It's a game we very recently reviewed on the ZX Spectrum, so 8-bit town, so we're interested to see how it compares on this, which should be an upgrade, but it isn't always, is it? Also come out on DOS, Commodore 64 and the Atari ST. You control an elephant who fires peanuts out of his trunk, well why not? CJ has escaped a zoo and has found his way back to Africa by crossing four countries, here we go, and there's bouncing frogs everywhere. Uh, it's four levels over France, Switzerland, Egypt, then finally uh, Africa. So at the moment it looks quite basic. Um, my lives are down the bottom left, so there's eight of them. We can collect bombs to fire at various enemies. So essentially we must chance first to get to the end of the level. Now on the ZX Spectrum it scrolled not brilliantly. Uh, this scrolls a bit better as you would uh, expect, so it's not flip screen. And you do have to watch out for the frogs on this one. They will aim straight for you as I try and shoot that snail. Well done. So here we go, so the level design seems identical to the ZX Spectrum with slightly better graphics but it has to be said it isn't really pushing the Amiga a lot, oh, I've hit spikes and died there. It's for one to two players if you can convince someone else to play this but it looks like it's a bit underpowered compared to other Amiga games. Bear in mind when you look at platform games you're looking at Zool, Super Frog, The Great Giant Sisters, Kid Chaos and all those so compared to those it looks very very basic indeed. Music isn't too bad, uh, when you fall down um, a distance, the elephant, as all elephants do, use that umbrella to um, guide themselves down. But it does seem like quite a tricky game, this one, and I don't think it's one I would have gone back to a lot. What it reminds me is quite similar to Codemasters, when they um, converted the original Dizzy games over to the Commodore Amiga, that seemed quite a basic conversion as well. Uh, this could almost be being played on the Commodore 64, really. I think the Commodore 64 could get really, really close to this. But anyway, yes. So, you know, okay, people who like the 8-bit game that wanted it on 16-bit will be pleased of the upgrade. Other people coming to it the first time might be a little bit disappointed. Now, at the end of each stage, there is a boss to defeat. And now I'm just trying to trip this frog, because the frogs are really annoying in this one. They wasn't as annoying in the ZX Spectrum version, but they seem to aim and jump on you like that and you don't seem to have much chance. Any impact with a frog as we all know is instant death. Hmm. I think there is a frog isn't there in the Amazon rainforest that's got enough poison to kill about a thousand people or something and the frogs just killed me about twice now. One life left and that's it I think. Is it? No this is our last life. Right. So extremely annoying game I would say and that's me dead. Hmm. So we'll have a few more goes, we won't labour here too much, but as I say, if, if you're liking the look of this, just compare it with other platformers, um, well, it's a puzzle platformer, Gods, Zool, Zool 2, there's many, many, many ones that we've covered. Um, this is sort of okay if you like the 8-bit version and wanted an upgrade, but as I say, it's not pushing the Amiga whatsoever, uh, and they could have done quite a bit more with this one. It's quite a lazy pull from Codemasters, but no doubt it made a bit of loot. Um, there is um, a sequel as well to this called CJ and the USA, which we'll probably come to as well. My um, worries on the Spectrum version was the CJ and the USA was essentially the same game. Uh, there was no advancement at all. And I think it might be more of the same uh, here. Uh, I've got queued up to re review at some point Aladdin on the Commodore Amiga as well, which is a really special uh, platformer, so I'd be interested to compare it with the likes of this sort of thing. Uh, it's a game we've recently viewed on the Sega Mega Drive. If you haven't seen that so far, take a look at it. Bom, bom, bom. Collecting the fruit for extra power. So, basically, you're an elephant that fires peanuts out of his trunk, who's the same size as a frog, and, uh, and he must find his way back to Africa. I think um, he's been captured to be taken to a zoo and escape his crate. In the next game, um, he has to rescue his friends that have been kidnapped and taken to the USA. It's tough being an elephant. If you are an elephant, comment below, but be quite careful on the keyboard. You might easily crush it to dust. Right, so are you liking this game? If you had it back in the day, let me know. You might not have uh, had it. It's like, a, it's like a halfway house, isn't it? So it looks like it's almost been con uh, constructed on one of those construction kits rather than an actual uh, proper release there. But yeah, it feels like a coloured in 8-bit game. Die, Froggy, die, and it's killed me. Oh no. How, what, what world are we living in where a small frog can kill an elephant? Well, maybe. It's this world. Du, 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 du. But I do try and see the fun in all games, even if they are uh, bad. Uh, there's very few games you get to control an elephant. There we go. Oh, there's that cloud. It's a lot smaller than the ZX Spectrum version. Uh, I think it will fire lightning at you at some stage, which is quite annoying. 
So we're in France, there's the Eiffel Tower to prove it, as there's the, there's the gendarmes, and um, any co contact with them you're dead. So it's finding your way through the level, navigating uh, through. Uh, difficulty level I suppose is quite good, I'm getting a bit of a distance on this as we see that poodle get exploded. Collect your bombs, you can launch them as well to take out some of the enemies if you're finding it a little bit tough. But these spikes are a problem, any touch with them you're dead straight away. Frogs are the most annoying thing in this game, could do without them. Um, now, would I be coming back to this if I bought it in the day? Um, probably not, I might be tempted to take it back to the shop because it's a little bit uninspiring. Uh, it been the first game I ever played on the Commodore Amiga, I might have thought it was quite good, but uh, in comparison to the other ones, no, so, you know. Uh, if I bought it with my pocket money back in the day, I would have been a little bit disappointed with this. Um, it's not the sort of game I would have showcased if a friend come round who was thinking of buying an Amiga and I was trying to show off, that is for sure. Right, uh, Terror Away Thomas, that's a good platformer as well, sort of, um, you know. There's much, much better ones on offer. Uh, the Amiga's got quite a few uh, games, and it looks like we've got to the end of the level here. We've got three lives left. The boss is over here. There he is. He's that big troll. Dun, 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 dun. The music sort of like got... Well, it hasn't really got that much better, has it? That cloud's there in the way. It's not really fighting at me. Let's launch some bombs at this ogre. Yeah. So I don't know. I suppose this is the Quasimodo of Notre Dame. I suppose that's... Friend. Right, now I've got a bit of the map. We should have to get four bits of the map, I think. So that's France done. So it's quite easy then, because I'm doing this without any cheats on. Uh, so four levels. What's this? I don't remember this. It's a bonus stage. Oh, no. <laughs> that was brief. Because I wasn't ready for it. I think you had a bike there, and you had to collect uh, balloons, but I wasn't, didn't time it correctly. So on to Switzerland. Uh, this game is completable, I think, looking at this, because, as I say, I'm not the greatest at gameplays, although some games I'm better at than others, but I've already got past level one. On to Switzerland, stage after this, oh it's game over, stage after this will be Egypt, then uh, Africa. So, one to two players, if you can convince someone else to play it with you, which would be a bit tough, uh, more than once anyway. Right, so we'll have, a, we'll have another go and then we'll, we'll get out of here, see if I can get a little bit further. But I think I've got used to um, how these, uh, these froggies work now, to give them their technical um, uh, name. In these um, games I always wondered how those ledges stayed up in the air, just hovering about. I do not know. If you know the physics of that, then comment below with what you think, or your favourite elephant peanut fact, which I'm sure there must be many. Yeah, okay. So we've reviewed quite a few Amiga games now. Check out the reviewed Amiga playlist if you're new to the channel, or if you're just uh, uh, wondering what we've reviewed so far, there's the reviewed games playlist, which is like an index of, of that. If you want to check on the Amiga section, we reviewed it in blocks of 50 with a flick of each one of 30 seconds. And they're, they're quite hectic, those ones. They're quite good fun. Again, it's another one of those games where you've got to shoot snails. They mind their own business. Uh, but, um, you know, why can't I shoot this snail? Um, maybe I have to get the timing right with the jumping. Or maybe I'll just shoot him. There we go. Why was I, why was I mucking about there? Elephants hate snails, it's well documented. Uh, there was big wars between the both of them, 100 years I think. Right. I, why have they chosen poodles? Is that a French thing? It's a, yeah, I suppose, I see what they've done. They've, um, they've gone for snails, which is what they say in France, which is a bit of a cliche, and frogs. Anyway, probably couldn't get away with this nowadays because people are always be offended. People are always ready to get offended by everything. I'm offended by a, an elephant wearing a t-shirt. Have a banana. Well, he certainly will do. This is a crazy castle, this. Crazy castle. I guess it must be Notre Dame or somewhere with the hunchback at the end. If you are the hunchback, comment below. I, I like that game you featured in on the Spectrum called, uh, well, it was Hunchback and Hunchback 2, but Hunchback 1 was the best. And um, there was a homebrew as well, which was influenced by Hunchback on the ZX Spectrum. If you want to check that out, we've reviewed. It was called um, Horace to the Rescue. Forest of the Rescue was a game that was supposed to be planned and got abandoned and then it got it's got picked up by someone else as a homebrew. Right, let's get on these platforms. Whoops. Oh, I thought I was going to die on the ceiling then, like Lionel Richie did. Ooh, what a feeling when you're dying on the ceiling. Wasn't that what he sung? Something similar. Get over these gendarmes. Goodbye, lads. Oh, and I've crashed into that one. Oh, I think that was Arthur Bostrom from A Low A Low, if you're aware of that, of that show. A Low A Low. You might not be, but, uh, you know, it's one of those programs that was always on as a kid. Right, can I get to the end of this level again? It's looking promising. I've got six lives, so it's generous with the lives you, you have. It doesn't just give you three, it gives you a sackful. 
So that, that's a positive when we're trying to stretch a positive sort of thing on this. If I created it my, this myself, I would have been quite pleased. I would have thought it's quite special, but lo looking at someone else doing it, um, I haven't really got that uh, uh, same appreciation. It's colourful enough. Scrolling's a lot better than the ZX Spectrum version, but um, you'd expect that, wouldn't you? It's got so much more memory to work with. But again, the, 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 the frogs, the frog idea is, is, um, is flawed. The way they move and just jump on you straight away. Sometimes you just can't avoid them at all. Like, look at that frog up there. Well, I think we have to coax him out. See, look, we can't go up there at all. Is he going to come down here? At least there's no timing. There he comes, right. And he turns into a cake, as frogs tend to do. Sometimes frogs turn into princes, if you, uh, if you trust those fairy tales. But in this game, they turn into ice buns or cherry cakes. Hooray! Don't know what snails turn into. Yeah, wearing a shell suit. You can have that joke if you want. Right, off we go. I don't let frogs can cause any problems. Now, we're off to this troll again. Hello, troll. Right. Quasimodo, he's massive compared to the elephant. I mean, this this must be a baby elephant. It's probably the size of his hand or something. Bombs away. Oh, I've, oh, have I died? That was it. Well, I think we'll leave that one there. I was very underwhelmed with it. As I say, fans of the 8-bit game would like it. Everyone else would think, I want a little bit more from this. So, yeah bit lacklustre, wasn't really using the Amiga to its full attention, uh, potential, but some nice music in there. So I hope you liked having a look at that. That was CJ's Elephant Antics by Codemaster in 1991 on the Commodore Amiga. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.